I mean, I'm not. I, I use it to dribble. I don't really use it to shoot. Is that in counters with it? Hmm. Just think about it. Everybody do it just to like do another move. From right. The hmm. You let the whole animation go through and shoot it. They're like, oh shit, you see that? Right. That's a fire. Then I'm out of boost. Hey, D on MP. Yeah, I'm out of boost too. Rebound. Oh, you tough. That's all. Got him. Well, the fucking angles. <laughs> Bro, I had a wide open dunk, dog. I, I, I see the angle, but I can't have it. Faint slip. Oh, nah, that's that's that slip was slow as hell. He said, "Had him, <laughs> got, got him, had him." That's a good shot, though. Send me a pick, Claw. Good shit, Claw. Oh, man, I didn't quick stop. I just shot it. Mmm. That's all. Hey! So. They dunk too. Yep. I I believe you. Yo! I'm gonna hit that. <clears throat> okay. All they did was to help us advance. Spain, so stay at the middle. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, oh my god, I missed the layup. Get you down. Oh, no, nah, that's tough. Oh, that's tough now. Nah. Mmm, that's crazy. Damn, I didn't box out. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I'm, out here, I'm out here playing that uh, Invisible D. Rebound. I'm open. <laughs> That's green. <laughs> That's something on chain. That was good defense, man. That was called bait. And I look at that. Big green. Oh, <laughs> for real though, it's an old it's man bro, playing. Bro. <laughs> there ain't no way he shot that. I know I'm open, baby. The reach. Damn. 
So you saying the contest system is not to your liking? I mean, he was open though. That was that's open right now. Damn. Good jump. <laughs> that late ass jump really affected him. Good steal, Spank. Green up. Pull him. Pull him. <laughs> that was a dribble pull up. Man, that's tough. <laughs> Y'all played in the stage yet? Yeah. Okay. Got that lightning lunge. Gonna get it on Hall of Fame. Oh, you can choose. Play the game, Spank. Play the game. What's up, Debo? <clears> Hope <throat> all he said been well, brother. Yes, sir, man. <clears throat> Everything been smooth. Got to get back on my sleep schedule. Um, I done, I done messed the sleep schedule all the way up. Hmm. He said, how you like it, Miami? Oh, man. It's been nice. It's been nice. I haven't... I haven't done too much, but I done did enough, you know, to enjoy it. I've really been working, though. Like, I ain't been in no... I haven't been on no plan mode, you know. I've really been on... I've really been working. Like, just trying to master myself you know and understanding what that means so I've been I've been on that type of time Good shots man it's all good it's good good moving screen <clears throat> the kids doing good man they doing real good my daughter she had actually you know she had an interview today I mean yesterday she talked to um she had a first consultation you know about writing books I think she's gonna be an author you know that's how I'm looking right now the teamwork great teamwork what so that was five um my little ones man they doing good begging for snacks Finish shooting. Uh. <clears throat> dunk. Rebound. Wow. Hey, this man. Good deed. Good steal. Wrap me close. Spank back door. I'm trying to stop, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I don't want to do it, but he's just doing it. <laughs> Fucking fade, bro. You chose correct.
Oh wait, he went to that. Yo! Damn! Claw. Oh, the pass. Gotta play two. Alright. <clears throat> we gotta get right. Damn, I had a fucking Gatorade, man. He said that bitch said wide open. Facts. He said, had him. Good problem. Fade. <laughs> Damn, boy, that fade is invisible. He said we don't play music around this motherfucker no more. <laughs> nah, man, I don't got my setup. I'm live streaming on my PS5 right now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My boy said he just got to listen. <laughs> what, is he, what is he listening to right now? Yeah. That motherfucker right there don't mind pulling though. That's not. That's tough. Kind of brought him with me. Nah, facts. Yep. Well, be careful with him. <laughs> Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Yo, when am I gonna hit my takeover on this bill? Damn. Rebound. What y'all gotta say, bro? I was just saying though. I know y'all was watching. What y'all gotta say, dog? So ain't nobody gonna say that. Hello. Oh man, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what well, fucking have something to say then, won't it? <laughs> Damn, my boy said, "Wait till we start living." Nah, man, we out. Yeah, hey, we out here, dog. We hoping, man. The black steam mask, man. No assist. I had one. Oh, Spain had three of them things. Call, get a steal, bro. I'm a boy, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Can you get one steal, dog? Bro, this shit is really amazing though because you can see the you can see the difference when a person learn. How Welcome to Deep Thought. Think about the choices that got you to this point in your life. Yeah, and I had to think about that long title too. <laughs> but in all seriousness, think about the choices that got you to this point. And when I mean this point, not just the point of watching this video, even you can think, well, you know what, maybe you can think about that too.
You can think about it on a large scale and on a macro scale, but also on a micro scale. Like why are you eating at this particular place or why are you walking down this road or whatever, driving, whatever. But also where you at in your life right now. Because you didn't just uh, you didn't just drift to this place. You know, it wasn't luck. You had to think, you had to make a decision. I'm gonna tell you what, I don't care what religion you are or what spiritual path you follow, every single one has choice. Choice is powerful. Choice got you to where you are because even no matter what the religion, what the political philosophy is, economic philosophy, whatever, personal philosophy, you made a choice. And you got to ask yourself, why, why are you at this place? You know, especially if it's a bad thing. Now, if it's a good thing, look at the choices that got you there. Because I thought about this. Now, I'm sitting in front of a bookcase right now in my townhouse. What choices got me to this place? Because it could have been someplace else. Um, you know, when I was looking to move, I was looking at some other places. I was like, mm-hmm. But then I thought about even there, why was I where I was? Where was I? Why am I in this county? I thought about those choices, you know? Every choice, every decision, you gotta think, there's a choice. We always come to a crossroads. I've talked about that before in my Sunday videos, but it's a real thing. And like some some of the choices are small, some of them are large, but you need to think about it. Now, if you've been making great decisions, think about those because you want to keep making those decisions. You want to keep making those correct choices. You want to say to yourself, "Okay, why am I right here? Oh, okay, I made that choice. It could have been years ago not to hang out with this particular crew because they got in trouble. Or it could have been that choice to get this particular mate. That's why you in this particular area, you know. You got to look at every you got to look at every little thing and even look at not just the choice, but what influenced the choice. Because, you know, even though I talk about thinking and you making the choice, there's still, you know, we still going to be influenced. We still going to listen, maybe. And even then, it's like, okay, did you listen to this person as opposed to this person or you follow this trend as opposed to that trend? Think about the clothes that you're that you're that you have on. Think about every little thing, you know, then you can understand stuff, especially especially if things aren't going well. You especially have to do that. Like I said, if you making if you've been making great choices, you're in a great position. Think about what got you there and keep making those choices because you can make a wrong choice at any point and then you can go down. You know, there's a concept called spiraling spiraling you know you either going up you either spiraling up or you spiraling down there's a lot of people out here spiraling down because they keep making a choice they keep making a bad choice they need to think okay what got them to this point like i know a young lady she she had gotten out of a uh, really bad relationship really bad abusive relationship She actually sat back and thought about the choices that got her into that relationship. And it really wasn't that particular gentleman, and I'm using the word loosely, it wasn't that particular gentleman, but it was a choice from her childhood, a choice. You know, her reaction to something in her childhood that got her to this point. And there's a, speaking of childhood, there's a lot of times that we're doing stuff and it's not what's happening right there but something that happened in the past you know and I would highly recommend if you can't figure it out on your own talk to a mental health professional you have a lot of people out there who are really going through some stuff but it's a choice they made and they might not be conscious of the choice sometimes you gotta think like when you're thinking about choices that got you here you gotta think okay I made that choice there but then This point there, I made that choice to get to that point, then that choice, because it's constant. It could be going to work one day, you know? Like, I remember one time, um, 
was uh, visiting a friend, me and the family was visiting a friend down in, uh, down in the Maryland area. And on leaving, making a choice to leave at a certain moment, ran into a deer. And I thought about that. It might seem small or something, but it was just like, wow, if I had just chose to stay maybe a little bit longer, just a minute longer, I wouldn't have ran into that deer. And it was, you know, it caused some damage to the car and stuff. And, you know, I had to put up with some crap with the car. And, you know, they fixed it and everything. But I thought about that. I was like, if I had just chose just to wait a minute longer, just a minute, probably wouldn't have ran into that deer. That's how powerful it is. That's how powerful a choice is. You know, we make, it, I mean, we make larger choices of definitely in relationships. You know, we might take a job or do something. Like I would say this with choice. If you if you if you come to a crossroads, you come to a choice and you don't feel good about it, I would just say in general, don't do it. Don't do it, because that's something within you, which I don't talk about a lot, intuition and everything that's telling you, nah, you don't want to do this. Follow that, because sometimes and I've seen I've seen it not only in my own life, but other people's lives that I've known. They made a bad choice at a moment. And then they putting up with some crap. And it's like, nah. Like, and one of the things with the choices, good or bad, is they are lessons. Because we've all made good and bad choices. But what was the lesson there? It could be the, it could be the simple lesson of not making that choice again. You know? It could be that simple lesson. It could be, I don't know, it could be anything. It could be anything. But you want to think about it. You want to think, okay, how did I get there? How did I get to this point? Now, for those of you who might be going through something bad at this moment, think about the choices that got you here. But also know this. You can make the choice to go in a different direction. You can make the choice to get a different type of person, you know, for a relationship or even friendships. Or you can make a choice to get a different type of job or career move, something, business, something, you know. You can make a different choice as to where you want to live, you know. You can, you can do it or to even get in that position to do it. You can make a choice on how you spend spending money so, you know, you save enough money, you getting your credit together so you can have a better choice as to where you want to live. It's so, it's so many things. We make so many choices. Now, some, like I said, some, some of them can be good. Some of them can be bad. But we want to make the correct choice as much as possible. And then, no matter good or bad, still learn from it. All right? But really think about it. Think about it. what choices got you, got you to this point. And you don't have to share it with anybody. You don't have to share it. You can just write it down and just look at it yourself. You know, and if you think it's some really bad stuff, like I said, I always recommend, highly recommend a mental health professional to help you out. All right. But they still come down to choices. Very powerful. Very powerful. So anyway, that's all I have for now. I'm choosing to end this video now. (laughs) Anyway, I'll get back with y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. Peace and blessings.